We are tracking from Karnataka. Now, on a day when the world was celebrating Women's Day, a BJP MP from the state made a very sexist remark against a woman. Now, BJP MP Muni Swami, during an event in Kolar, slammed a woman for not wearing a bindi while her husband is alive. In fact, the BJP leader shouted at the woman as well, going on to ask if she had any sense. The Aam Aadmi Party, in fact, has slammed the BJP over the incident, calling it anti-women and disgusting. बट एक बात तो एक बड़ा माया मन का हाँ गंडा बद के जानता ने इंटरनेशनल विमेंस डे मिस्टर मुनिस्वामी डी एमपी हैज टू टेल अ वुमन व्हाट शी हैज टू वेयर व्हाट सारी शी हैज टू वेयर व्हाट बिंदी शी हैज टू वेयर इट्स डिस्गस्टिंग इट्स समथिंग व्हिच इज कंपलीटली एंटी विमेन I completely agree with the Congress party. Not only that, why is an MP, an elected representative of the largest democracy in the world, behaving like he is the one who has been appointed for moral policing of women, of what they must wear and what they must not wear? Who is he to tell anything to this woman about wearing a bindi or not wearing a bindi? Is that not the choice of the woman? Has he been paid by somebody to do this kind of work? Is he not the MP who is elected to extend all the works that has to be done as per the promises that he has made through his party? My colleague Neha joins me live on the broadcast for more inputs on this story. Neha, good evening. It's absolutely, you know, um, the remark in itself is regressive in nature. We also heard politically, of course, what Brijesh Kalapa of the Amadmi Party had to say. But talk to us about what really transpired there and has he apologized uh, for his behavior? Absolutely not. You know, this is an incident that's come to light now from Kolar district of Karnataka where the BJP MP was attending an event there and he's gone on to speak with this woman in an extremely vulgar manner. He's gone on to ask her why she's not wearing a bindi there and most importantly he's also gone on to, you know, insult her on Women's Day on a day that we <coughs> celebrate the existence of women. Now most importantly, in fact, you know, you can see red-faced and embarrassed over there. The woman, in fact, you know, really had nothing to say, of course, uh, to the MP here but as far as an apology is concerned, you know, we've not heard anything from the BJP yet. BJP spokesperson over there, Mr. Uh, S. Prakash, in fact, who spoke to us, did go on to say that, you know, the woman, in fact, could have been spoken to in a more mellow tone or in a more, uh, you know, po possibly in finer language. So, understandably so, of course, you know, this is something that's really quite uh, shameful and condemnable. And that is, of course, being condemned right now by opposition parties cutting across party lines. Right, Neha, thank you very much for getting us the latest on that. One can really hope that uh, he does come forward and he's apologetic for the same, but we leave it at that for the moment and shift our focus to more.